We've got 12 hours until the Enlightenment. People will become curious again, and I will be there to teach them. I can't do this by myself. Train us. Bring us into flash time with you. Mm, is that lightning about to hit me? You're not ready to use flash time. What are you willing to do for the world? We deserve to make the choice to be a hero. And God said, let there be life to be life. The Flash, only this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 4, and today we're going to be doing a trailer breakdown for episode 22. So this is the penultimate episode, so the second to last episode of season 4. So get ready guys, this episode looks very good. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So I'm going to be talking about the trailer, breaking down the shots, and giving a few finale theories alongside the first that we have in this trailer. So in the first shot we get to see Barry running down the track at Faris Air and this is a place that we've seen loads of times it debuted in the first episode but in the following shots after the initial shot we get the voiceover saying there's only 12 hours until the enlightenment and DeVoe goes on to say people will become curious again and I will be there to teach them. So obviously there's going to be 12 hours and I think that will be the time frame of this actual episode. I think that the enlightenment will happen in this episode probably near the end and we will leave on the cliffhanger for the finale and they will fix it all in the finale I do think that the enlightenment will happen in this episode and so we get a shot of Barry looking very worried and as DeVoe does that voice overlay we get to see him using his Kilgore powers and he's shrinking something else using his powers from Black Bison and so we get some subsequent shots with DeVoe and Barry actually talking and I think it's Barry saying you know what's your plan why are you doing this and he explains it to him and it seems like that's what's happening and they're on the streets and so maybe Iris's blog has actually helped them out. And that is then followed by a really scared looking Barry. He's feeling the time pressure and we get a shot inside the lab with Caitlin and Barry and Barry's looking at some sort of equation and maybe this is where the speed force equations actually come in in how to stop DeVoe's enlightenment plan but then the most interesting part of the trailer we get to see Barry trying to train Cisco and Caitlin to go into flash time and obviously withstand longer than they did in the past and it seems to be by the way that they showed the powers actually being transferred in this trailer it seems like they are temporarily able to absorb Barry's lightning to absorb the speed force and I don't think become a speedster necessarily but to inherit the powers to actually withstand flash time and it seems like it backfires a bit on Caitlyn as we see the lightning go around her legs and then around her body and she gets flung across the room and Barry doesn't think that they're ready so he's going to be training Cisco and Caitlyn in order to try and stay in flash time and that will give them the time to stop DeVoe's enlightenment plan. So that is followed by a shot of DeVoe and DeVoe is most likely in Argus because we know that's where he's going in this episode because we have the meta, the nuclear meta who's actually trapped there and he thinks he's in paradise and so he's looking upon that, he's in Argus and we know John Diggles is going to be making a cameo in this episode because he currently works at Argus so he'll be doing them a favour and then we get a shot of Barry and Iris and Iris is saying what are you willing to do for the world and so this comes into my finale theory so we know in the past all the villains have practically been killed so Savitar was shot by Iris, Zoom was taken away into the speed force and he was basically killed and Reverse Flash was killed by Eddie but obviously not directly so the question is how are they going to defeat the thinker and will Barry cross the line and become what he said he wouldn't actually do this entire season and will he kill DeVoe or will he at least attempt to kill DeVoe and maybe fail so that's a curious thing to theorize about so let me know in the comments below if you do think he will go that far and then we get an awesome shot which is a slow motion shot inside of Argus as he goes where DeVoe is in the final shot as you can see the screens in the background with the nuclear thing 
and it seems like he's in flash time at this point and so we get a subsequent shot of Cisco being quite angry because he wants to become the hero he wants to stop the enlightenment and so we move on to the next shot and it's of DeVoe looking inside the chamber where we see the nuclear meta actually going critical and it seems like this is part of his plan maybe to power his satellites I am unsure as to why he's using this nuclear meta but it's obviously for some sort of big reason and he says and God said let there be light so and this is where DeVoe's going to try and release and start the enlightenment to make everyone in the world reset and so he can form the world in his own way, he can be the teacher of all the lessons that he wants to teach them. So in his own way, he is the hero of his own story, and he's doing what he thinks is right, and he's willing to take the sacrifice in order to make this perfect world in his vision. And so I'm really looking forward to how his plan is going to proceed, and how Team Flash is actually going to stop him in either this episode or the finale episode, which is going to be really, really exciting. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.